What's up guys, this is Hesmania. I'm coming to you with a brand new deck profile, and this is UA's with a brand new uh, November format. Uh, I think this deck does have a little bit of viability, mainly just right now, uh, <laughs> before Docs comes out, so like this week. But, um, and even when Docs comes out, I mean, it does, it's still going to have a little bit of viability. It is pretty, it's a decent deck to begin with, and uh, you guys know that I love UAs anyway, but I do feel like for at least the next month or two, uh, UAs could actually have a little bit of, um, uh, could be a little bit up there in terms of usefulness just because of uh, certain techs uh, that it can utilize to its advantage. So um, uh, let's just get into it. Playing three midfielder, you have to play three midfielder in order for... Uh, the deck to function. If you're not playing three midfielder, then it's gonna be horrible for you, uh, unless you're playing some weird build that <laughs> for some reason doesn't need it. But uh, three midfielder, absolutely necessary. You want to see it as much as possible. Uh, I'm playing only two slugger for this version of the deck. I only think two slugger for this version and for the meta right now is necessary. Uh, interesting thing about slugger is that it can actually shut down um, a lot of the things Cosmos like to do, specifically um, Jura Ghetto, Honest, um, it can shut down any of the effects that the ships have in the in the uh, in the deck. So uh, Slugger is definitely very useful. So uh, for against Cosmos in general. Um, next is Ace. You only need two Ace. You never need more than two Ace, and yet you should never be playing less than two Ace, just because uh, it does burn your hand. However, its effect is extremely useful. So Ace at two is definitely necessary. Uh, only one goalkeeper. You don't really need much more of that. It's it's just so you can keep a wall up so you can get things into your hand as much as possible. Uh, one block backer um, in terms of just like keeping your opponent from really getting any advantage off of special summon monsters. This card is always useful, so block backer, yeah, great card. Uh, one dreadnought dunker, dunker. I'm not playing rebounder just because rebounder is a little gimmicky. I don't like it in the deck uh, just because like you really utilize it, you have to one be able to normal summon it consistent consistently, which is not a thing that UAs do. They special summon a heck a ton, so. Um, and you, it also forces you to play turnover tactic, tactics, which I don't want to play that card. So, um, Dunker uh, is a good card at one. Uh, Rebounder is not a good card. I only play 10 UAs for this build, so um, and that's really all I think you need. For the support, I play 3 Hero, Challenger, Assault, Halberd. Uh, this is the special summon, plus he searches himself out, so it works great with Ace uh, in terms of um, just being able to negate stuff. Uh, so Halberd is a good card. I'm also playing two Photon Thrasher. I think this card is extremely relevant uh, for this deck. I only think you need two just because um, it's it's not really necessary. More than one, he's a good card if, you, if he's the only monster in our hand. Um, however, he doesn't have the searching capabilities that Halberd has, so only two of them is necessary. You can also play Summoner Monk in place of Thrasher if you feel like that it's better, but uh, I prefer Thrasher in this in this situation just because it doesn't burn your hand. Uh, I also play one Veiler, just the last hand trap. Uh, I don't always want to play three back row ne uh, effect negations just because it can be negated very easily. So Veiler, in my opinion, is much better. Um, play three Stadium. Uh, this card is, you need three. You absolutely need three. So uh, Stadium, yeah. Uh, three Signing Deal. Uh, another card you need three of. It's absolutely necessary for the deck to run. Uh, and only two Power Jersey. This is more of the OTK centric type card uh it's great especially when used in combination with slugger slugger is probably one of the best cards when going up against a deck like uh cosmos or just like in general or gradles even that's coming out that's going to be a thing slugger is undoubtedly going to be a, a fantastic card against some of the new decks coming out so um slugger being able to prevent any effects going off from um when he destroys things that's absolutely great and then being able to get a second attack off of jersey uh, is even better. So, uh, yeah, Slugger, great card. Jer Power Jersey is absolutely necessary in this deck. So, yeah. Uh, two Terraforming, because you want to get to this as much as possible. This is in place of the two Rota um, that you can't have anymore because of the ban new ban list. So, you want to get the Stadium as fast as possible, and Terraforming helps you do that. Uh, if you have already gone through your Stadiums, or you don't need another Stadium, Terraforming can always be uh, Discard Fodder for Ace. Or if you're playing the Monk build, um, that can also be useful for that. Uh, I play two MST and one Night Beam for back row. Um, the reason why I'm playing the one Night Beam is because of Tellers and Cosmos combined. Uh, tellers don't play a lot of back row, so being able to Night Beam that back row before they get a chance to use it, particularly cards like Call the Haunted or 
um, what's it called, uh, the, uh, Fountain of Dragon Souls, uh, Nightbeam just, we're not, I'm probably, that's probably not right, but, uh, Nightbeam is able to just negate that so they don't get a free plus off of Deneb, uh, Tellers and Cosmos are the biggest worries in this deck, so, uh, biggest worries in terms, like, not biggest worries, but two best decks, really, at the moment, uh, so Nightbeam, uh, other than Infernoids, so Nightbeam is definitely very, very useful, um, yeah. Let's play uh, one Raigeki and one Rota. Rota, I don't need to explain. Raigeki, I don't need to explain. Being able to pop everything on your opponent's side of the field is, a, is really good. Being able to search out midfielder, uh, Thrasher, or uh, Salt Halberd, also very good. So I uh, would not take this out. Uh, take this out at all. Uh, two penalty box. Uh, I don't think that it's necessary to play three because I play two terraforming already. Um, this is another discard fodder for Ace. Uh, you can also... The battle is... The battle effect is also amazing for this deck, uh, just because uh, this deck falls pretty hard to decks that are clown blade sec centric uh, and uh, not clown yeah clown blade centric in terms of like rank four spam. So penalty box is definitely useful, uh, especially when you're going up against like things like Minerva. If light swarms do become a thing again, penalty box is going to be very very useful against them. So uh, penalty box definitely a good card. Uh, two Mind Crush, just because searching is a thing. Uh, and this deck does search quite a bit, so I don't want to play Mistake. Mind Crush is just better, in my opinion, for the deck. Uh, two Phoenix Chain, because you need to negate stuff. Um, one Solemn Warning, one Compulse, and one Bottomless Trap Hold around of the traps. For the extra deck, I am playing one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for Cosmos and for Tellers. Um, tellers do utilize some machine tech monsters, so Forcer's Dragon is definitely useful. I do place uh, Double Cyber Dragon in the extra deck, which is why you see these. Uh, the reason why that I do play this is because you can actually utilize Cyber Dragon pretty pretty well in this deck. Even if your opponent does not uh, play a machine heavy deck, you can still use this. One, it has the same attack as Thrasher. Two, it does open you up to rank five plays. And three, even if you don't have to, even if you um, don't have to go into a Chimera attack, you still use it as tribute fodder. So Cyber Dragon is definitely a very useful card for the deck, and I would not be taking this out of the side at all. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, as a note, uh, I do would take out Greedy Saramea for um, Heartland Draco just because uh, you have face up Stadium on the field. You can also uh, use it in conjunction with Power Jersey. So uh, that I would take out for Greedy Saramea. Greedy Saramea is a decent card by itself. It's not the best card, but it is a decent card. So um, that's I, I just want to make a note of that before that. Um, anyway, for the rank fours, I play one 101, one Castell, one Emerald. One Black Ship, one Excalibur. Uh, this guy is pretty awesome. He just helps with the OTK of the deck. Um, one Cowboy, one Dweller, one Ragnazero, one Roach, one Volcasaurus for the rank fives, one Durandal, one Shark Fortress, and one Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. Um, and of course, the uh, Heartland Draco or Grady Saramea, whichever the one you decide to play. Just happen to have this one. The uh, in the extra deck anyway if you guys don't know what this card does uh it's basically a mirror force for anything under 2500 attack or um if you so choose to have stadium on the field and this you haven't gotten the special summon ability yet you can rank five into this special summon one of your uas and then he becomes a 3000 beater and uh in that case he becomes very viable to get rid of pretty much everything on the board so greed is aramea definitely a great card to have um, so thank you guys for watching this deck profile. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, have a nice day.